The city of Steubenville is gearing up for their new fleet of ambulances to hit the road. News 9's Gage Golding is digging into how the city covered the tab for the pair of emergency vehicles that cost more than $100,000 each. It costs about $400,000 to purchase these two new ambulances and get them fully stocked with all the medical supplies they need. The good news for taxpayers, it's completely covered by the CARES Act. Absolutely nothing. Everything has come out of our CARES Act funding that we received, both our ambulances, our supplies, and all the equipment that goes on these ambulances. Taxpayers in Steubenville not paying a dime for the two brand new ambulances that just received a fresh set of decals. But why add the fleet all of a sudden? They need this. I mean, we, we have uh, ambulance service here, but unfortunately it hasn't stepped up to what they need to be. We have to jump in and, and try to cover this for our citizens. They're almost ready to roll, but who will man them? The Steubenville Fire Department already has trained personnel, but they're looking to hire more. Hopefully that money also coming from grants. Our next thing we're waiting for is the grants that we put in for for our manpower. And we have enough people that are trained that if we have to staff it within for a while, we'll do that. Whatever it takes to get these ambulances out there. If we can get that, that will pay for itself for the next three years. Currently, the department is down three members, but if the grant comes through, they're looking to fill those plus add six additional positions. The city is waiting on a couple pieces of equipment before the trucks can hit the road. If all goes to plan, the ambulances will be on the road within the next two to four weeks. Reporting for News 9 in Steubenville, I'm Gage Colding.